The final roster for the Chicago Bears is now set. The Bears have completed their cuts in this cut period. We're going to talk about all the players that were cut right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. And this is just a quick emergency update episode. Now that all the cuts are set, we'll be having another live stream late tonight where we're breaking down all the roster cuts and what it means for the, the players that are left, the starting lineups, the 53-man the roster, everything like that. But let's go ahead and go over the cuts. So in that, the final players have been waived. Travis Bell, uh, the defensive tackle, is, is has been waived. Now, he probably is going to be practice squad eligible Keep in mind, a lot of these players are probably in the next coming days going to be announced as part of the pra practice squad. But Micah Baskerville as well, who looked pretty good in some games as well, has also been cut. Robert Burns, the fullback, was cut. Steven uh, Carlson, the tight end, we, we already talked about him, was cut. Macon Clark was cut as well. Kellen Deesh was cut. Dieter uh, Eastland was cut as well. Uh, Demarcus Gates, the linebacker. Travis Gibson, defensive end, has been cut and waived by the Chicago Bears. No trade coming for Travis Gibson. Jalen Harris is also cut. That's another defensive end. Bobby Haskins, DeAnthony Jones, another defensive end who may be practice squad eligible. Josh Lug, um, uh, Michael Ojemudia. I, I know I completely murdered his name. Uh, we talked about him already. Brave Van Roy, uh, Lashlin Pitts, uh, Logan Steenberg, Davion Taylor, Braylon Trahan, Kendall Vador has cut. Kendall Vador is off our damn roster. Thank God. Barrett Dean Wade is also cut. Mikael Walker, surprisingly, is cut. Now, this is a guy who was a starter in Atlanta, had over 100 tackles last season. I thought he was going to possibly make the roster. Looks like he's also cut. Kendall Williamson, also a young safety as well, uh, is probably going to be on the practice squad. He's also been cut. Uh, so there you go. Uh, it also looks like they've a number of veterans have also been terminated from the contract. So Andrew Brown, defensive tackle, cut. Avante Collins was also cut. Uh, Fontaine, we have already talked about, or Fontaine, we've already talked about. Uh, Nathan Peterman also cut, making, um, uh, making uh, you know, it, it clear who's going to be that number two overall starting, uh, or a number two quarterback for the Chicago Bears. And, you know, it, it the Tyson Bajan, who's come in now and is now the clear, the only second, the only other quarterback on the whole roster other than Justin Fields, that's a big, uh, ringing endorsements from the Chicago Bears, the fact that they feel confident enough about an undrafted rookie being their backup quarterback that Nathan Peterman's also cut. I didn't expect Nathan Peterman to be the QB too, but the fact that he's cut says a lot about how they feel about him. Webster, Stroman, all cut as well. So that's what we've talked about. Uh, it, uh, tomorrow, the Bears can establish a 16-man practice squad. Um, so with and six of those players having unlimited NFL experience, so we'll be we'll be finding out tomorrow who's going to be on that practice squad for the Chicago Bears. But hey, the Bears have now made their cuts. Kind of some of the surprising things with that. Um, looks like all the all the uh, running backs stayed on, which we talked about: Dante Foreman, Khalil Herbert, Travis Herman, Roshan Johnson, and fullback a uh, uh, blasting game are all on the roster. Of course, Justin Fields, Tyson Bajan stay. And the Chicago Bears will be will be carrying six wide receivers on their roster. When you look at Chase Claypool, uh, Darnell Mooney, DJ Moore, all being on that roster as well. So you know the the Bears have have now firmly planted who's going to be on that. Uh, uh, DJ Moore, I think I, I already, yeah, of course I mentioned DJ Moore, Equinami, St. Brown, and Tyler Scott being the six wide receivers that are going to remain on the roster. So. Hey, there's a couple of things to take away from this, uh, with especially with Kendall Verdor and Travis Gibson both being cut. The Bears, you know, it was expected. I know a lot of you guys were in the comment section saying that because of the play from Travis Gibson that you guys expected or thought it would be wild that he was cut. Once that trade request went through, I think the writing was on the wall for his future with the Chicago Bears. And Kendall Verdor has gotten passed up by two rookies passing him up on the depth chart. So it made the most sense to cut him as well. The Bears have now set their 53-man roster. It's pretty straightforward. It's a, it's most of these cuts were were expected. The writing was on the wall on the wall with that. Bellis Jones making the roster as well. So that's something to look out for. And we'll we'll end up seeing the Bears now have their 53-man roster with 16 man practice squad coming here tomorrow. By the end of tomorrow, we'll be able to talk about that. I may have an emergency episode out depending on when that's released on that topic. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Are there any surprising cuts for you on this cut? I think. The Bears, not that they played it safe. I think especially Travis Gibson with the way he played in a couple of those preseason games maybe looked at a surprise for some people. But overall, I don't really feel like this is really a hugely surprising cut period for the Chicago Bears. Mikel Walker was one that I definitely thought the Bears would try to keep 
just for depth at that linebacking position, especially with Noel Sewell uh, possibly out. But, you know, my, uh, Matt Eberfuss has also come out today and basically the only person that they're not not that they're expecting not to be available week one is um, Tevin Jenkins. And, you know, he's going to be week to week, which uh, Matt Eberfuss has said. But we're going to break this all down in more detail tonight as we go live. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when we go live talking about the Chicago Bears cuts tonight and that 53-man roster. Make sure you're following us at Shy Bear Central. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, chicagobearscentral.gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail, the number to do so, 773-242-9336. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related, thanks to you guys. And like I liked in every episode on Shy Town Up, Bear Down. Love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Break, break, media. media.